Hey everybody! Welcome to the Monday Mindset. I am Erin Hart and today we are going to be talking about um, how to lose weight without calorie counting. So welcome everyone from the Healthy Real Food Challenge community. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, if you are a mom or a grandma and you want to lose weight for the last time without calorie counting and by eating an abundance of healthy, real food, listen up because this video is for you. So I am a registered nurse health coach. I lost 125 pounds with the healthy real food lifestyle and you can achieve your goal body this year too. So if you're struggling with your relationship with food and your weight, uh, there is a clear path to freedom and success to get you from where you are right now to thriving in maintenance in your goal body. Like, ah, oh, just imagine living in your goal body and it's within your reach. So uh, this is the success path as we call it. And it's a 10, ten step process to help you to navigate the weight loss phase and transition to maintenance with the sugar and flour free lifestyle. So today I'm gonna teach you how to lose weight without calorie counting. We're gonna go back to the basics of the Healthy Real Food program and I'm going to talk about the meal plans and the food list for those of you who are newer to this lifestyle. And, and then for those of you who are more seasoned in this lifestyle and have lived a sugar and flour free lifestyle for a long time, I hope that you gain some new insights that you can apply to your program from this video as well. So the foundational principles of a healthy real food lifestyle that I teach are to eat a customized meal plan that is tailored to your caloric and macronutrient needs, to plan and prep your food ahead of time to, so that you can bypass the need for willpower, and then to connect with your support person each day. So today we're going to focus on the meal plan and on the meal plans and the food list. So sometimes it's really easy to just forget how important these basics are. Uh, the strategy, it is so simple, but that doesn't always mean that it's easy. And if it were easy, everyone would do it. But this is the path to sustainable weight loss. And by consistently executing the basics, and cleaning up your program if you have become a little bit too complacent and surrendering to this process, you're going to see incredible results. Um, just imagine yourself in a year, like thriving in your goal body. It is so exciting. Uh, the meal plan and the food list really are the foundation. So how do you lose weight without calorie counting, right? Um, it is super simple. The ridiculously simple strategy is to eat weighed meals uh, or measured meals at meal times that are made up of an abundance of healthy, whole, unprocessed food that is free from sugar and flour without snacking in between meals. And that's it. So we eat an abundance of food from every food group, including proteins, starches, vegetables, fruits, and fats. So your body needs a healthy balance of all of these foods to function properly. And we don't count calories or macros day to day, which is so amazing. Um, that was always so willpower depleting for me and other programs. And I just, it was never sustainable for me. I don't know if maybe you can relate to that, but if you're just beginning this lifestyle, you don't have to count calories um, or macros, right? Like what we do is we customize a meal plan for you based off of your age, sex, body composition, and activity level so that you can find a meal plan that you can stick to and that has an appropriate caloric target um, and macronutrient breakdown for your body. Uh, you also decide like how many meals per day will work best for your lifestyle. The right plan for you is the plan that you can stick to consistently. And if you have followed me for a while, <laughs> you know I say that all the time. The right plan for you is the one that you can be consistent with. Consistency is the key because we're trying to build automation so that it becomes easy and effortless for you. Uh, there's a saying that uh, we have in the hospital where I work, it's that slow is fast and fast is slow. Like a lot of times we're like priming tubing or like we're doing, you know, 
complex um, tasks for our babies or, or our patients and stuff. Um, and, and it takes like a lot of effort, right? But what we learned is that slow is fast and fast is slow. And what I mean by that and how it applies to the weight loss, to your weight loss efforts is that sometimes having a meal plan that has a little bit more food in it, um, if, if you're able to be more consistent with it, even if you're losing weight a little bit more slowly than a really um, severe caloric deficit, right? You're going to get to your goal faster in the long run, right? Because a lot of times when people are overly restricting or they are, um, or they have a meal plan that has too aggressive of a caloric deficit, it's really hard to stick to. And then they are not consistent um, they get discouraged and <laughs> uh, because they and fall into that all or nothing mentality. So what we're trying to do is just really, I what I want you to understand is just that consistency is the key because we have to build that automation and that is how um, losing weight can become really easy and effortless for you. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get to your goal body. Um, like whether it's six months or a year or two years, like why does it matter? This is a lifestyle. It's not a diet. And so ditch your timeline and just focus on the process. So I'm not going to get into all the details of like how to select your meal plan that is outlined for you in the meal plan workbook and in the course. And I can guide you through that when we meet for our mindset mastery session. But in this video, like, let's just talk about the 10,000 foot overview. Uh, the important thing to know is that once you have created your customized plan, all you have to do is follow it. And if you weigh your food like a bodybuilder does, right? Like, and you eat from the food list, you don't even have to weigh your body. You can just trust that if you follow your plan with time and patience and consistency, you will achieve your goal. It goes from feeling impossible to inevitable for you to achieve your goal. So, so for example, let me just show you, this is the food list and sorry, it's a little blurry because my camera <laughs> has it on the portrait mode, but so this is the healthy real food meal plans and food list workbook. And so in the beginning, it just takes you through how to select your meal plan and, um, and then it, you get to the meal plan. So um, this is the nutrient dense 1400 calorie plan, three meals a day, four meals a day, and two meals a day. And then we have the nutrient dense 1800 calorie plan. So for example, the way that these, there's a whole bunch of different meal plans with different caloric targets and different macronutrient breakdowns. So, and, and, I, and we walk you through how to select which one is right for you. Um, this is a sugar and flour free lifestyle. And, um, so the way to lose weight without calorie counting is to just follow the plan each day. So for example, if you are on the nutrient dense 1800 plan and you eat three meals per day, uh, like for breakfast, your meal plan would consist of a protein, starch, fruit, a fat, and an optional vegetable at breakfast. For lunch, you would eat a protein, a starch, three vegetables, a fat, and a fruit. And then for dinner, you would have a protein, three vegetables, and a fat. So like you may be wondering like, but how do I know what to eat? Because um, that's like, and that's where the food list comes in. So, so what you do is like where it says, I, so I need, so if I, so this is like your general outline for your meal plan. And then you get to change it up day to day and, and choose whatever food elements that you want um, that are in these categories. So if you go, so this is the food list, uh, the complete food list that I have um, for you that are in my program. And so what this entail, what this has for you is it, it's, um, I created like this complete list to give you ideas for what foods are compliant for each food category and then how much each serving weighs. So it's really great like if you're dairy free or you have allergies or if you're vegan or vegetarian, if you eat paleo or whatever your food preferences are, um, it works for you. 
you just would cross out the foods on the food list that don't work for you if you have allergies or food sensitivities, and then you highlight the foods on the list that are your foods. But for most people, you can eat all of these, right? Um, so the so for your protein, <clears throat> the protein category, it lists all of the compliant uh, meats, plant-based uh, protein options, as well as dairy options and uh, you know, lean, free range, um, grass-fed, organic, non-GMO, plant-based, and wild-caught are preferred, but um, like anything is compliant that doesn't have sugar or flour in it. Um, so, so the starches, um, so the starches here on the list, um, so these list all of, these list all of the compliant like whole grains, uh, grain substitutes, and then compliant cereals, breads, and crackers. So whole or organic, like unprocessed or minimally processed grains and starchy vegetables are preferred. But um, what you can see here is that there are like some asterisks and then there's some, some foods that say to use sparingly. And so it kind of helps you to differentiate which foods are preferred, which foods are like the super foods that are, uh, that have a star biome. And you know, those are the ones we want to choose more often. And then the ones that say use sparingly, those are the ones that can be a little triggering for people that experience food addiction or, um, that, that are just more calorie dense. So, um, so the food list, it just helps you to get an idea of like what to have. So like when you choose your protein for breakfast, okay, like I want eggs, like how many eggs would I have? So you find eggs on the list and then you just would say like, okay, um, four ounces of eggs is one serving. And so you would weigh four ounces of eggs. Um, if I wanted, uh, to use like yams for my starch or, barley or millet or oats, <laughs> right? Or quinoa, like you can just look on here and it tells you how much it would weigh. Um, so the food list, it just helps you uh, to choose uh, like what foods to plug into your meal plan for the day. Um, so vegetables, the vegetables here uh, are differentiate between starchy and non-starchy vegetables and it highlights the superfoods. You have your fruits um, down here. Um, your fats are categorized into plant-based fats, oil-based or dairy and animal fat. And then you have like the list of all your condiments and beverages. So, uh, so yeah, what I love about it is it's just a very simple strategy for losing weight without calorie counting. And in the beginning, it is a bit of a learning curve, right? Because everything is always hard in the, when you start it. But as you go through the process, it gets so much easier. Um, so anything is compliant in the Healthy Real Food program as long as there's no sugar and flour in the ingredient list. So you would just find it on the, com on the food list to figure out like how much it would weigh and then plug that into your meal plan for the day. So there are just so many delicious foods that you can choose from and the food list tells you the weights for each serving. So the night before, uh, you would plan your meals, right? You look in the fridge and you get your note, your notebook or you use the app uh, and you simply just like look at your meal plan and you choose which protein or starch you want, which fat, which vegetables, which fruit, and then just write the weight. And so the next day, um, so you write it down the night before and then the next day you just eat exactly what you wrote down and it's really simple um but like i said it is a learning curve at first but after a week or two like you feel like a pro and then eventually it just becomes second nature and it becomes so easy and effortless i've been living a sugar and flour free lifestyle lifestyle for three and a half years now and i just can't even tell you how grateful i am for how it's changed my life. This is the secret to sustainable weight loss. Um, it helped me to lose 125 pounds and I've been in maintenance for years. So I, and you can do it too. I, I loved being able to eat an abundance of food and still be able to lose weight without calorie counting. And the reason that we can do that in this program is because it's all about caloric density. 
So processed foods that contain sugar and flour are very calorie dense, but uh, they have low nutrient density. So what we want to fuel our body are foods that are nutrient dense and have a low caloric density. So that is how you lose weight without calorie counting and why you can eat a, a ton of food and you're full and satisfied and you can still drop the pounds. So weighing and measuring your food, um, which is another part of the strategy, right? It brings you so much peace, just knowing that you're, you're eating exactly what your body needs, not too much or too little. Like if you follow the plan, you can just trust that achieving your goal body is inevitable. So like I said, the process is simple, but many people struggle because of the lack of support. So if you are looking for support, guidance and accountability, resources, um, you know, to help keep you on track with your goals throughout the year, reach out to me. I would love to help you. I offer one-to-one -one and group coaching to help you navigate the success path, to help give you that accountability to keep you on track throughout the year. And, um, and it leads to that long-term permanent sustainable weight loss. So you can do it. I guarantee that you achieve your goal body within a year when you follow this, this plan or I coach you for free until you do. And that is the guarantee I have for those of you that join my program. Um, and my program is not for everyone. Like you can totally do this on your own. Uh, but if you are struggling and you are, need help, please reach out. Uh, I invite you to try it out. So for a free one-to-one -one weight loss strategy, weight loss strategy session with me on Zoom, uh, go ahead and sign up today by going to erinharthealthcoaching.com. I hope that this video was helpful in helping you understand how to lose weight without calorie counting, and give and I hope it gives you a little bit of hope, uh, because that is my mission <laughs> is to is to give hope to those of you that are struggling with your food and your and your relationship with food and struggling to lose weight. You really can do it. Um, if I can do it, anyone can. And, um, and I'm so excited for you to join me on the success path. I hope you have a great day, everybody. Happy Monday. Bye.